and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Haley Zemek. And I'm Justin Sosa. Today we will bring you the latest news in campus events, scene hall sports, and your five-day weather forecast. Mark your calendars, Pirates. On October 23rd, the Student Activities Board will be sponsoring SHU Speaks and presenting Lori Hernandez, a New Jersey native 2016 Olympic gold and silver medalist known as the Human Emoji. This thought-provoking lecture and question and answer will take place at 7.30 p.m. in the main lounge of the University Center. Tickets are free, but you must register at shu.eventbrite.com to attend. For more information, contact Megan Borowick at megan.borowick at shu.edu. Scene Hall students will be excited to hear that the Pirates Cove food ordering app is set to begin beta testing any day now. SGA Student Life Chair Michelle Pan explained that testing will run for one week and will consist of 20 Scene Hall students. The app should help cut down on the Cove's wait time by streamlining the ordering process. Pan was unable to provide a time frame for the app's full launch, but the hope is for it to be available by the end of the fall semester. Attention first year and undecided students. On October 18th, the College of Arts and Sciences is hosting a humanities fair from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. in the University Center Main Lounge. Meet with academic advisors, professors, career center staff, and undergraduate students to discuss programs, career opportunities, and more. This is considered an ACE event and free pizza will be provided. The Career Center will be hosting a media, sports, and marketing forum on Monday, October 15th between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. The event is meant to connect students with interest in sports management, public relations, media, sales, and human resources with professionals in those fields. It will be held in Bethany Hall. For more information, you can reach Gina Hernandez at gina.hernandez at shu.edu. And now we'll head over to Callie Diamond with your Seton Hall sports update. Callie? Thanks, Haley. Hello there, Pirate fans. My name is Callie Diamond here with the latest in Seton Hall sports. This past Saturday in Omaha, the Seton Hall men's soccer team took on number nine ranked Creighton in a closely contested match. The game went down to the wire as Pirates goalie Andreas Noda managed six saves that held the Blue Jays scoreless until the 84th minute when they scored the only goal of the game. The Pirates are now 4-3-1 on the season and will return to action Saturday at 2 p.m. at DePaul. Switching now to women's soccer, Seton Hall took on number 7 ranked Georgetown this past Sunday at ONT Carroll Field in the Mary Jennings Memorial game. In the match, the Pirates managed to keep Georgetown scoreless in the first half, but in the 51st minute, the ball took an unlucky bounce for the Pirates, putting Georgetown on the board first. This goal was followed by an additional two goals for Georgetown, which now makes the Seton Hall women 2, 4, and 6 on the season. The Pirates return to action today at 4 p.m. as they travel to Villanova. Lastly, for women's golf, the women participated in the Princeton Invitational Tournament this past weekend. In the tournament, junior Carolina Ronchel Salas led the Pirates to a sixth-place finish as she managed 11 straight pars in the tournament, while managing birdies on two of three of her last three holes played. Despite managing six as a team, Ronchel Salas was also only five strokes behind the individual champion from Yale, Amy Gia Chandali. The Pirates will return to action once again this weekend as they travel to Yale. That's going to do it for your Seton Hall sports update. Once again, my name is Callie Diamond. Now back to Haley and Justin with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Callie. Today, October 4th, Seton Hall will kick off its International Celebration Month with an International Food Truck Festival on the green. The theme for, the, for this year focuses on the social gatherings of various cultures. Don't miss this special event and be sure to get there early for your chance to get a food truck voucher for the truck of your choice. The festival will run from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Seton Hall University's Catholic Studies program and campus ministry present A Pope and a President, John Paul II and the Fall of Communism in Eastern Europe by Paul Kenger, an author and professor of political science at Grove City College. This event will take place on October 10th at 1 p.m. in the Chancellor Suite of the University Center. It is free and open to the public. Contact Gloria Oronio at gloria.oronio at shu.edu for more information. Now we'll head over to Alicia Campos with your five-day forecast. Alicia? Thanks, Haley. Hello, Pirates. Alicia Campos here with your five-day weather forecast. 
Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 81 and a low of 59. Friday will be sunny with a high of 67 and a low of 56. Saturday expects some more sunshine at a high of 67 and a low of 61. Sunday will produce some clouds with a high of 79 and a low of 64. Finally, Monday we'll see sunny skies with a high of 77 and a low of 62. That's going to do it for your five-day weather forecast. I'm Alicia Campos. Now back to Justin and Haley with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Alicia. This year's Seton Hall weekend is set to kick off this year on Friday, October 19th. The weekend is a celebration of our community spirit and of the close ties between alumni, students, faculty, staff, and the surrounding community. There will be outdoor performances, arts and crafts, rides, carnival games, and sporting events held throughout the weekend. Be sure to register for events on the Seton Hall website. On October 12th, you should think pink, think fitness. Attend fitness classes that will be offered all day for spin, yoga, Zumba, or HIT, and receive a free shirt for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Pre-register at the fitness desk in the Richie Reagan Athletic Center with a $5 donation. For more information, visit the fitness desk in the Richie Reagan Athletic and Recreation Center. This concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Justin Souza. And I'm Haley Zemek. Thanks for watching and have a great day.